Now let's talk about what exactly happened. After this whole ordeal, I took it to JP from the V8 shop and I said, here's my engine, here's what happened. He was on the rally, so he knew what happened. Um, tell me a bit more information. And over the whole process of getting it fixed and learning a lot and talking to people, I actually gained a lot of knowledge about the D4D engine, what happens, why it's a common problem, how to prevent it, things like that. So let me tell you all this information I managed to gather. Um, some of it might be incorrect, some of it might be controversial, some of it might be opinionated, but this is just the information I gathered through this whole few months long project. So let's start with what happened. So after JP opened the engine, they realized that it was a hole in piston number two. Now the reason for this is injector failure, which after a lot of research and a lot of people talking to me, seems like it's a common problem on the my year models D4D engine that the injectors are weaker and the piston is weaker and those two combined just cause this grenade of an engine to happen and take place. So basically what happened, injector number two failed, which means injector usually mists, and because the injector gets clogged up because of dirty diesel, we'll get there now, the injector turned into like a spray or a drip. That drips on one specific point, and with the heat and the combustion, it burned a hole in the piston, and that caused the some compression which I had in the engine, and that caused the damage essentially.